Hello everyone, a uh, news video combined with a random gameplay video here of sorts. I'm going to be playing a little ditty called Battalion Wars. It's on the GameCube if you haven't heard of it. Haven't heard of it. it is a pretty good game. It is a war game that doesn't take itself too seriously. It's from the makers of Advance Wars actually, so you know it's a good game. <laughs> uh, and why, the reason why I'm making just like a random the gameplay video of sorts like this is because well, I'll just let the cutscene go. Drama. Charge, there are those who dare to whisper that this time peace might just endure. Looks good to me, right? Well, so far. War is a contact sport, gentlemen. Snap that defensive line. Go, go, go! <laughs> he tried his best. <laughs> boys are getting mighty twitchy down there. We got the men. We got the playbook. Where's the dog And the women. The right there. <laughs> Looks like this truce could last a long, long time. What? You gotta be pulling my pen. But if we have to fight, then fight we shall. In the meantime, the men are getting out of shape. They couldn't even take on the tackling dummy. <laughs> Are you crazy? Well, anyway, as I was saying before the cutscene and whatnot is that the reason why I haven't made any videos lately was because everything that I was planning on doing kind of fell flat. It's like one thing I was planning didn't really work out, then I checked into another thing, that didn't work out, another thing, that didn't work Come out. In, Commander. This is it's, Betty and it's kind of, yeah, her name is Brigadier Betty. <laughs> anyway, um, the, the whole experience of trying to figure out a game to do in the meantime has been kind of frustrating. I even haven't even worked on uh, unlocking the True Arena in Kirby's Return to Dreamland. So anyway, here is the game. Basically, it, it is a real-time strategy game, but but in this real real-time strategy game, you actually are in more control than you are in other real-time strategy games. Like you can actually, yeah, shoot things with the A button, B button to jump, and you'll be able to switch troops as you go along through uh, areas and stuff like that. And you can lock on the things with the L button, shoot even while... Oh, I thought you could shoot while jumping. Ah, whatever. <laughs> Let's just shoot these suckers down. Uh, I'm not typically a fan of real-time strategy games, uh, but I, I, li I rather like this one. The reason why I don't like real-time strategy games is because there's a, like a lot of waiting around. <laughs> And that, that isn't the kind of thing that I am uh, too, too much fond of in gaming. I'd rather be in action all the time, if at all possible. Anyway, as I was saying about the whole walkthrough scenario thing, it's getting very frustrating in general, so I thought I would do something a little bit different, just to, like unwind from trying to plan out a new walkthrough and stuff like that. So here we are with a little... Hey, Doing in a little random video of sorts here of other kinds of games that I play. Because uh, I usually just do like platformers and action games in general like this. I've never done any RTS style games on my channel, so here you go. <laughs> so we, it looks like we got a spy in our territory here, and including some balloons. These have to go. These have to go. Pressing the R button, you can look around. 
Yes, I can hear him. Stop interrupting. Yeah, I mean, yes, I can see him. Stop interrupting yourself, Brigadier Betty. That, that name is just ridiculous. You gotta admit that. But, as I said, this is a war game that doesn't take itself too seriously. And and I like that a lot, because I, I'd rather... I'd have, I'd, you know, I'd like to have more entertainment in games than a, than a more realistic experience. Like, I would, I would take... A, Games with bouncy characters like this and cartoonish style graphics over ones that are realistic in every way that you can possibly imagine because, well, let's face it, the real world, pretty boring. <laughs> so when it comes to games, I want my games to be as far away from the real world as possible. <laughs> So anyway, let's go take on that spy. Well, let's, I should say catch up with that spy and eradicate that sucker. I mean, he's probably got information on us. Go see if he's okay. Wait, what's wrong with this guy? Darn it, he's a gunner. That spy is gonna pay. No! He got Johnson. Of all the times Johnson has fooled me, this time he's the one that got fooled. I will avenge you, Johnson. Uh, though I know you have extra lives. This I will do. Uh, hey guys, why don't you actually attack that spy that was coming through there here that seemed to kind of like vanish? <laughs> you can press the uh, X button to call your troops towards you, and now this is where the real-time strategy aspect comes into play. Pressing that X button switches their modes. And when they're in sentry mode, mode they can uh, shoot things on their own while staying in place. Um, you can also switch between troops by uh, pressing... Wait, actually, I forgot how that is... Do I have to lock onto... Yeah, there we go. You press... You lock onto it with the L button and then you press the X button. I haven't played this game in ages, nor have I ever actually beaten this game. <laughs> uh, so... Raw, this is a really fun game. I can't make a walkthrough on this sort of game until I actually beat it. I'm stuck on the last mission. It is really hard for me. <laughs> uh, I'm not a real-time strategy guru. As I said, I'm not a fan of the genre, except for when I can, you know, actually be in the action, like, say, this game here, or, or like, a game like Pikmin or something like that. But I didn't even beat Pikmin 1, though, so <laughs> I'm just not a very skilled RTS player, so... It's just, it's just a thing of, I, I play games that I am most, most skilled at, so to speak. Hey, you guys, everyone attack. Pre you gotta lock onto an enemy and press the Y button to attack. I just remember that. And I would like to, everyone, there we go. <laughs> and now we got ourselves a recon. Lock onto it and press the Z button to switch units. There we go. And this, at this point, you leave everyone behind. I, I, I don't know why. <laughs> but this is just how the game story goes, and I am hopelessly stuck because I forgot how... There we go. <laughs> Thank you very much, controls. And you'll notice that there's a light blur effect on the screen as well to show that you're going a lot faster. It's a nice little touch. Oh no, you guys, you guys are going down. Or, okay, the mission is over. <laughs> Defeat, what? I thought there was peace between the two countries. That too. Making war, Brigadier Betty. Isn't this what Frontier Command has been waiting for? No, that's preposterous. But I thought Marshal Nova wanted peace. Exactly. I think the assembled might of my personal army speaks for the marshal's intentions, Brigadier. Betty. <laughs> yeah, our first name is apparently Brigadier. <laughs> That's just silly. I got an A rank despite all the fumbling of it. Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, your speed is basically how fast you get through the mission. Technique is how many units you lost, you know, how many people. You gotta try and keep as many alive as possible. The power is how quickly you defeat enemies, if I'm not, if I'm not mistaken. Or wait, maybe it's how, you, how many enemies you clear. I forgot how that works, actually. And then they show you a little briefing of new units that you've used. So let's go to the next mission here. Uh, I'm just gonna do one more for this random video for the heck of it. 
as I said, gotta get some videos up on my channel, otherwise, well, there isn't anything coming. <laughs> I don't want to get rusty either, that would never be kind of sucky. So, let's see what we got now. He's our commander this time, by the way. General Herman here, commander, do you copy? Yes, loud and clear. Here's the bad news. Zar Gorgi's launched an all-out attack. Even if I couldn't hear you, I could read you. Because there's text on the screen. Which means our position is now behind enemy lines. But here's the good news. There's good news? You're going to join forces with a voice from Bravo Company. Woo! We'll see if we can't get us a piece of the action. I have no idea who those guys are. <laughs> But that's how they introduce them into the story, basically. <laughs> anyway, let's get our troops all together. Just gotta press the X button, getting near them. There we go. And every pony will get together. I mean, everybody will get together. <laughs> and you basically want to keep following the gold stars as you go. That's how the game leads you through different areas. You are going down! Everyone, attack! Yeah! It looks like you left a meta pack behind. I don't need you that at all. <laughs> Those are health for you, for you and your troops, basically. You may have eliminated my spy, General, but his comrades are thirsty for revenge. Revenge on what? You're the one who invaded our territory after the peace treaty. Ah, whatever. Don't don't question the freaking game logic. Everyone, take him down! Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Son, let's keep moving. There's gonna be plenty more where they came from. I hope so. <laughs> if this was actually real life, I wouldn't be hoping for that. But uh, you know, as I said, why should games be like real life? You know, this is just for fun. It's an unwinding activity. I don't see why it shouldn't be lighthearted of sorts, and when when there's enemies behind, like, sandbags or something like this, you should try and flank them off to the side. Alright, I'm going, but is there food over here? Ooh, there's food! I would really like some food. That, that would be, oh, I can't get the food. Can I, can I, like, shoot the food? I would really like to... Fine, I'm hungry, but I guess gotta save the world and all, you know. <sighs> So, what do you say? <laughs> the frontier cowboys are approaching our position. Cross the rope bridge and destroy them. Uh, when you want to get somebody in one of these MG nests, just target and then press the Y button. Or, or I could have jumped in if I wanted to. <laughs> but I'm not going to. I'm just going to fight along the front lines here. It's just what I do. And I'm going to shoot off to the side. No, 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 no. Everyone, no, I'm, I'm gonna get murdered here. <laughs> and why did I e even do the combat roll towards them? See, I'm not, as I said, I am not good at real-time strategy games in the slightest. Now, how do I get you out of, ah, there we go. You have to target and press the X button. It doesn't help that I'm also very, very rusty as well. <laughs> um, oh yeah, that's how you can switch between the characters like that with the Z button. See that on the menu? Okay, I was just I was just playing around there. <laughs> Man, you, you really got ahead of everyone. <laughs> Unless that was me that was that far ahead when I switched characters and now whatever. Yeah, okay, we're going into a deep dark woods of spookiness. Actually, this isn't dark at all, but uh, there's this guy gonna try and possibly ambush us, even though it's not a very good ambush when they, you know, are highlighted. <laughs> By a cursor. No, no, no. Ain't gonna happen. No, you, you, you're going down to. Yep. Mm hmm. And you just aren't going to live for very long as long as I'm here. Uh, okay, I think we're good to go. Let's keep moving on. Oh, and I guess it's not just gold stars, there's silver stars as well. See this one over there? Yeah. And you can check the map to see the general direction that you should be going to. I believe it's a bomber that he's going to be calling in, by the way. Yippers! Oh, what? Some, one of my, no, one of my guys got killed! 
No! If you've seen that red flash at the bottom of the screen, that, that basically indicates that uh, they got... Uh, that, that one of them got killed, excuse me. Or multiple ones. Y you get the idea. <laughs> and I would like to... Uh, open up those critters. Uh, oh, you might open up that thing over off to the side here by shooting these things. Come, come back over here, guys. Don't, don't be too close to the barrel. There we go. <laughs> if they're too close to the barrel, they'll take damage from the shot. I mean, from the explosion. It sounds good. Wait, wait. Is there a split path here? Because it looks like I... no, wait, that's blocked off. Okay. <laughs> It just looked like there was a split path there for a second, and I just walked right through those sandbags. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Looks like there's some more enemies over there. I shall target, and... Yeah, they already got they already got the hint and went in right after them. Woohoo! And looks like I'll be switching to a tank, and got a bunch of new troops as well. Do I have... There we go. Woo! Tank driver, <laughs> and I kind of ran over my own man there. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, oh, at this bridge, you want your men to hang back uh, because there's some turrets off to the left and right side, which only your tank is really good at taking care of. So, just saying. <laughs> Actually, maybe they should take care of these guys for the heck of it. Because I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna end up shooting myself if I'm that close to it. Yeah, you can shoot your own troops, so that's kind of realistic, as well as yourself. So I'm going to... I would like to put them, like, right about here, and then start blasting these suckers to kingdom come. <laughs> Just like to... Yeah. See, I'm not taking much damage from the uh, machine gun towers because of the fact that they are... I mean, that tanks are highly re resistant to them. This is another aspect of the real-time strategy thing, is that you can use other units to block the shots of other units. Why? Why? Just don't move ahead of me. You're going to get in the line of fire, you idiots. <laughs> Freaking... How hard is it... How hard is it to get good troops nowadays? <laughs> All right, everyone, come with me. Bazooka veter... No, I want... Attack the bazooka veterans. <laughs> And uh, the gunmen on top of the tank will automatically um, attack as well, like nearby infantry, so that's a handy little dealio there. And I'm pretty sure I got all the uh, sentry towers, so my troops should be fine, I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll be the last one standing only, <laughs> and that'll be pretty sucky, because that makes me a very bad commander. And, okay, I'm just going to let them take care of it. <laughs> Because <laughs> I don't want to shoot my own troops, but I will shoot that light recon over there. Because the idea is to demolish the base here. And I think I accidentally hit my own troop there. Now I want to shoot, yeah, that ammo dump over there. See all the gold stars? That's the stuff that you want to shoot. The idea is to blast apart their base. So, no! Stop killing my troops! I am the most terrible RTS player ever. <laughs> but somehow I won! Enjoy your petty triumph, General. This battle has only strengthened my resolve to crush the frontier once and for all. And thus, you won't be seeing any more of the game unless you play more of it yourself or if I make more videos of it. <laughs> because that's all I'm going to be making in this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you later. I hope, yeah, that you like these random videos that are coming along here, these random gameplay videos of sorts.